Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, first of all, welcome to all of you. Of course, that inshallah I will conduct uh, entitled Many Prophets, One Message. And this is very important as a da'i to understand uh, what is this message? How did this message get contaminated over the passage of time? And so when we learn from the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa says, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا نِعْبُدُ اللَّهُ وَاجْتَنِبُ التَّغُوتِ That we have sent, uh, certainly sent to every nation a messenger. And their main task was to tell people to worship Allah and to stay away from any disobedience or any ta'ud, anything that violates the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also tells us, Al-anbiya'u ikhwatun li'alat umuhatuhum shatta wa dinuhum wahid. That the prophets are paternal brothers. They're all like brothers. Their mothers are different, but their religion is one. And so that oneness of message and oneness of faith is what our du'at need to understand. And so Qatada, one of the early Mufassireen, he says everything has its Sharia. The Torah, the, the Torah Sharia, the Injil Sharia, or the Quran Sharia. Yuhillullahu fiha ma yasha wa yuharrimu ma yasha. Bala'an liya'lama ma yuti'uhu wa min ma yasi. That everything has its Sharia. Torah has Sharia, Injil, Quran. And Allah makes what He wants halal and haram. Walakin ad deen wahid. But the message is one. And so this is a very wonderful uh, program, inshallah. And hopefully by the end of it, students would be able to identify the unique message of all the prophets, um, understand the purpose for which prophets were sent, their character, and how people contaminated this uh, over the passage of time, how this message was distorted. And... Uh, inshallah, each stage we are going to discuss um, after we break down the message into two, three parts. We will discuss each part, how they have uh, contaminated and the need for messengers to come and rectify. Um, also, what is very important is how we can connect what has happened in the past to the present situation, in our current situation, our Dawa effort here. So we take from the methodology, the strategies of those prophets and their way of da'wah in delivering this message and the challenges that they have are basically the same challenges that we have now. Um, technology might make it a little more sophisticated, but by and large, it's about the same thing. You know, in the time of Noah, they used to plug their ear and take their cloth and put it over their face. Now we have earplugs and we have other things to bar us from seeing and hearing the message of Islam. So it's about the same uh, strategy. People still call uh, those who uh, call to the deen of Islam, they still call them crazy people and and the outcasts and low-grade people, just like what they did to Nuh and the other prophets that came before him. So hopefully that you can have enough practical experience in applying uh, Dawah methods to communicate Islam effectively uh, to the American society. Allah.